Doug, I, as well, you're very famous for something that you coined as KGR, Keyword Golden Ratio. Um, for those of you who, uh, who don't know what that is, you want to tell us what that is? Sure. It's a data-driven way to find keywords that are generally underserved on the internet. So slightly technical, so I'm not going to try and <laughs> explain a, a formula out loud, but you could go, go find it. Typically, just in layman's terms, you're trying to find if there are any websites, any web pages on the whole internet that are actually using a specific search phrase in the title. Mm -hmm. And if there aren't too many, then good chance that you'll be able to rank for it if you publish something. I right, sweet. I actually want to do something cool here on the screen just to kind of show off a little bit my technology. Uh, and uh, I want to share my screen uh, quickly, Doug, with uh, you and with everybody. And I want to uh, do a quick uh, example of um, how to calculate the KGR. Uh, of course, I choose a silly keyword, so no one can go ahead and steal this niche. <laughs> but uh, if you, uh, if you uh, let's say you have this keyword, um, like Doug was saying, uh, you have this keyword here, and uh, um, uh, the calculation for the uh, KGR is KGR equals to um, how much was it, Doug? The um, the all in title, all in title, all in title, uh, divided by the search the volume of the keyword, right? So this is this would be our um this is what we need to calculate now so this keyword here for example best smartphone under fifteen thousand, whatever money that is <laughs> uh, you'll have to come down here and you calculate it this way kgr equals to uh all in title we have to do the the uh, search operator one sec we need to do the search operator and this by the way uh doug is covering all this on his course five figure niche site um and there's a link in the description if you, if you want to check it out i've done a review as well if you guys want to check the his course out and what's uh, what's inside but um all in did, is this right all all in title call in and the keyword uh of course we have thirteen thousand. 13,000 um, uh, all in title, 13,000. I'm just going to run it up, 13,000 uh, divided by the volume of the keyword, which is 190. And if I bring my calculator up, which should be here somewhere, where are you, calculator? Uh, that's... 13,000 divided by, this is actually a very bad example. Uh, so that would be a, that would be your uh, calculation of the KGI is 68. I'm not yeah, even... and you want it to be under 0.25. So let me give you a tip if you want this to work out better. Yeah. Just put dollars, like search for $15,000. Like 15,000. After it, right? Or dollars? Sure. I think Google could figure oh, yeah. that out. So you have one result. So you'll have one result here. So you, you'll calculate again the KGR, and the KGR will be. Uh, where is this? Uh, it's under 0 0.01. So we could just round. There's no yeah. need to calculate the whole thing yeah it's under one uh, 0 0.1 0 0.01 yeah yeah it's very low so if if you have the if you find keywords that are uh, according to the calculation you do this calculation here uh, all in title divided by volume uh, the keyword of, vol of the volume if the result is uh, 0 0.25 or less right then that's a good keyword uh, usually right this is a good keyword to go for if it's over 0 0.25, it's still doable, but you're gonna have some uh, you're gonna have some competition. Maybe you're gonna need some backlinks. Maybe you're not gonna rank straight away on page one or two. Uh, is that correct, Doug? 
More or less. Yeah. Yes. There's, there's a little more nuance and depending on, honestly, if you're new to SEO and keyword research, this is a very good guide. KGR is, is something that you could use and feel confident when you're targeting keyword phrases. Now, one interesting thing, and Adrian, I know you're, you're uh, friendly with like Kyle Roof and some of the people at Internet Marketing Gold, as, yep. I, as I am as well. Yep. So those are like pretty advanced people in general. It's an advanced audience. So when I was getting questions over there, they, they were saying, oh, this is not very interesting. It's kind of bad advice. And if you're really advanced to SEO, then yeah, you're probably already doing something like this in some mechanism. Usually you're doing something a little bit different, but maybe you do look at all the title mm -hmm. or maybe you use some other keyword difficulty, long tail searching strategy. All those are fine. And a lot of people for some reason think I'm very dogmatic about KGR. But, but I'm not, I actually, I'm pretty agnostic. I mean, it's a great tool to use, but I've never said, hey, you have to use this. You always have to use it. And I, I mean, I personally use many different methods. Again, it's a tool in the tool shed. So if you're brand new to SEO and you're brand new to keyword research, check out the KGR. It's a great way to simplify your keyword research. But if you're really advanced and you're thinking, Doug, this is uh, kind of, it doesn't quite make sense, then maybe you're, you know, you're beyond it. It doesn't dog. mean that this... I haven't had people contact me and say, Hey, I run an SEO agency <laughs> and I started a site and now I make, you know, $5,000 a month extra on the side because I use KGR on a site that needed a little push in a certain right. direction. So I think there could be a little bit more to it than just, you know, publishing, uh, you know, publishing content that's low search volume. Yeah, sure. I mean, some people would think, hey, it's a waste of time. But if you have a site in place and you need to, you know, kickstart it, restart it, maybe you just purchased a brand new site and you want to really get more traffic and boost some of the rankings. It's a really good way to just pull up your overall rankings because you could do a lot more internal linking from your KGR terms that are ranking really well. Yeah, I've, I've used the, the KGR, um, of course, for uh, because I've, I'm I'm student of Doug. I've um, I've uh, I know other friends like Marty McLeod and other successful students of uh, Doug. Uh, they've used this um, they've used uh, this uh, technique of finding uh, low hanging fruits, and uh, we've had uh, you know decent success with this. Um, some more than others. Uh, Marty, by the way, he quit his job last year and uh, uh, that was awesome. And um, let me quickly shift. I had an issue here <laughs> with the screen. I, I wasn't sure what to look at. There's lots of technology, guys. I'm sorry if I mess up uh, any, any, any now and then. Uh, let me quickly uh, take us to the chat. Uh, Doug, if you don't mind, there's a couple of questions I want to address. Uh, quickly before we move on um, uh, so with a not a uh, serp test is asking here with an automated version of this uh, would be of help I'm guessing he's talking about an automated version of the uh, KGR uh, a way of doing the KGR automatically maybe a tool or yeah. something yeah I think a lot of people, I mean, I get that question all the time because people want to do this faster, just like anything else. So there's a couple issues. One, a lot of people that are looking for a free way to do keyword research don't really want to pay for a service, but a lot of people do ask. And I know some people have developed their own. It's not a very, I mean, I have a software background. This is not a hard problem to solve. Mm -hmm. You can do this on your own with some scripts. It's not that difficult. So um, SERP test, would it be of help? Yes. Would it be profitable? I don't know. Selling software is difficult. Selling a service is difficult. And even if there's a great market for it, it doesn't mean you're going to be able to do it. And I mean, you seem like a, I mean, you're asking, Hey, I, I could automate it. I'm smart. I could do it. Yeah. Shit. A lot of people can. That's great. Um, but the hard part is not the technical problem to solve. We could sketch it out in like three minutes, but 
to sell something is really hard to sell to a market that doesn't want to spend money. That's even harder. So I think it, it, you could test it out and there's a lot of, I mean, it's interesting. There are companies out there that either do a service. If you go to Fiverr, there's a bunch of people. I mean, I try to get them to take my picture down because I don't know <laughs> who they are, but they're like, Hey, well, I'll, I'll do Doug Cunnington's KGR service for you for blah, blah, blah. So there's a market for sure. Selling it. I don't know.